So I'm making this video for a few reasons. Um, the first reason I want to talk about is my harem. I'm completely ending the harem. The harem may never come back. Now, the reason why I'm ending it, and I'm not going to tell you guys too much because I can't really upload that video that kind of will explain why I'm ending it. I might upload a few clips or something there just to give you guys like an idea of what happened, but I can't show you guys completely everything. Just not yet, but pretty much, you know, I heard someone that I really did care about and I just don't want to do that. Like that's the one, that's the one thing that wasn't my goal with the harem at all to hurt anyone. And the fact that I did that, I kind of feel like the right thing to do is to end it. It's great to have girls around you. It's great to chill with them. Like, you guys know, like, I love talking to women. I love chilling with them. So, you know, having them around just makes everything a lot better. I just like the energy that girls give off. And, you know, like I said, my goal wasn't to hurt anyone. And the one person I did not want to hurt, I actually hurt it. So, um, like I said, I might not show you guys the complete clip of that but i will one day i will release some of it just give you guys an idea of why um why it ended i do want to say something to that person because i'm pretty sure she's going to see this video um honestly i am sorry i know i fucked up i'm not asking you to forgive me i thought about it yesterday you know i've been trying for the last month to fix things and it just seems like you already got your mind made up you don't want to fix it you're not going to budge. You're not going to see how much I tried to fix it. So at this point, it's just like, I just, I don't know what else to do. You know what I mean? I can't sit here every day begging you to forgive me when I tried everything I could do. You know, you can see from videos from the last week or something like that. I have not uploaded any harem videos. The last harem video was the My F New Family type video that I made. Um, other than that, I never really did anything that would make you think, that I want to do the harem anymore. You know, I was completely gonna stop it, completely was gonna get rid of it and just fix that. You know what I mean? Just fix that. Um, because she actually was a really good girl. If I explain the situation to certain people, they're gonna be like, well, you, you wasn't dating, you wasn't doing this. So it's like, did you really do anything bad? But then I kind of see it at her point of view at the same time. So that's kind of why like, I really want to fix it. It's like, what do you do when someone that you do care about always push you away and then when you when they show that they actually care and then you just like okay let me fix it and then they still push you away what do you do so that's kind of where i'm at with that um like i said with her i'm not gonna show the entire clip because you know i know she don't she would hate for me to release that just because you know she was in an emotional state at that moment but the harem thing is great but sometimes it's best to step away from it when you know that it's going in the right wrong, when it's going in the wrong direction it's just best to step away from it so i do want to talk about my new project i want to work on new kind of series that i'm thinking of and it is kind of thanks to her because i thought about it like you know i love vr you guys know like i would die for this damn thing and i play a lot of vr stuff I might not record it, but I really do love VR. I love the whole idea of it. You know, I spent so much money. I have three headsets working on getting the index. And I honestly feel like stuff I learned from the harem with learning how girls think and learning, you know, what to say to a girl, what not to say to a girl. I feel like that the reason why I kind of had my harem was one, let's, let's be real. I got my heart broken out here. The harem pretty much helps me get over it. You know, it also makes videos. So I thought about it. Let's go ahead and do, decided to do a series called The Austin of Project. Now, the reason why I'm, it's called The Austin of Project is because as you guys know, I love Soda Online. You know, I love it so much that <laughs> I'm sitting here spending money on VR equipment, VR equipment, pretty much changed my entire channel to VR. And it's, even though it's great to be able to flirt with girls and have fun, you still want that one person, that one person that loves what you love. And honestly, even though we, a lot of people gonna be like, Austin's not real, you know, of course she's not real, but I'm pretty sure there's a girl somewhat like that or even, or even close to it. Um, I just want someone personally, like I'm not gonna date anyone who don't like VR. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna make, so my new standard, honestly, is I want someone to love VR just as much as me. Someone I can sit there and have a whole VR conversation with. Someone who doesn't just play VR chat and call themselves a VR user, a VR gamer. Like, I want someone who truly, truly, truly love VR as much as I do. 
That's why I call it the Asana Project because I want my own asana. I want my real life asana. And I feel like I could find her in VR if I actually take the time out and look. Now, there's gonna be a video tomorrow. And you guys can see from that video alone, there are girls out there that believe in the dream. There are girls out there that loves VR. Um, unfortunately with that one, <laughs> she kind of take it. But it also proved to me that there are girls out there. Like, when I recorded that video, I already made the idea up. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do something called The Austin Project. And then in less than an hour, I met that girl. So it's girls out there that love VR just as much as me. I don't want someone, like I said, that just plays this game and that's it. I want them to truly, truly love VR. You know, I'm not going to say all the requirements of Asuna that I'm looking for. But if you guys see the anime, you guys know, like vr she loves vr she's a badass gamer it's just overall a per the perfect gamer girl like let's be real like the perfect gamer girl and like i said i know she's out there i met so many women on this game that was amazing that i got along with you know just i just think like i need to stick with one you know i've done that before you guys you guys saw my y'all saw with the whole cutie thing like i had one girl so it's not like i know i can't just have one girl it's just finding the right girl so um that's what i'm pretty much going to do the series hopefully in my opinion i want it to be really long just so i can have like a progression and then when i do get the girl you know you guys see our memories like as it goes on like that's kind of how i wanted to have it or you never know like i end up sharing the channel with with the girl so um that's the goal with the Austin project um so uh, like i said it starts tomorrow I work today and tomorrow, but I'll also get on tonight and try to, you know, record some content for the following day. Um, but yeah, that's the series that's going to take over the harem. Like, it, like I said, it's no more harem. Um, I do appreciate the girls that was in my harem. Um, my first harem will always be my favorite harem because those girls are still with me. Those girls are loyal. Like those girls really look out for me. When I was going through some things for the last two months, they was really there for me. and. You know, I do appreciate it and I'm always going to always be there for those girls. So don't think I'm just going to push them to the side and just get rid of them. Um, I'm still going to have them in my life like Weeb, Cody, you know, Nulu, you know, even my VR mom, Shy. You know, they're, they're always there for me. So I want to always be there for them regardless of what I do. Um, and hopefully they do like the girls that I, that I mess with because honestly, they only really like one. <laughs> and that was cutie. So it's hopefully, hopefully, um that works out with them you know if they don't like them then i'm probably <laughs> it, it if they don't like them it's probably not good for me to have the girl uh, but so it's it's two more things i want to talk about that i plan on doing um i'm going to probably upload other vr stuff um i'm gonna try to have like some friends of mine help me with some stuff um i do want to start working on some vr stuff like if i like review games or just show you guys different vr equipment that's actually out um actually go out and spend the money <laughs> and get it like i do want the tesla suit but it's not out yet but there are other vr you know equipment that is out that i can get my hands on so i'm gonna try my best to get my hands on that um in a few weeks in a few months i'm gonna have a pretty much in a few months i'm pretty much going to show you guys my setup and stuff um i'm working on an idea of seeing if i can make the ultimate vr room i think it'd be so badass um of course you guys will see some kirito figures and stuff like that i'm definitely gonna you know make it pretty much the sao like dream room pretty much but um it's gonna take some time to get that done and yeah that's pretty much it other than that it's the the index coming out um i did reserve it because i thought i could wait until it was actually out and just buy it but it seems like the stock is it seems like they're out of stock and the back order is just too much so i probably won't have my index until september october but i'm definitely going to pick it up i'm definitely going to probably make some videos on for you guys if not you guys will definitely see me using it um but yeah that's pretty much it um like i said i'm done with the harem the harem most likely will never come back and i'm gonna just go ahead and start the austin project